I'm going to tell you about the takeaway I have for this week on compensation and wage administration. My first takeaway is problems with pay for performance as it can uh, cause divisions within the workforce uh, with people concerned about why is another person uh, getting a pay raise when I'm not, uh, just kind of causing a low morale uh, within the uh, organization. Um, also it can cause people to um, kind of cheat their way around the system, find ways to beat the system uh, just so they can hit their bonuses and the quality of service uh, and uh, honest, their honesty in the organization um, falls as a, uh, as a response to the incentive system. So there are definite weaknesses uh, with pay for performance systems if they are not counterbalanced uh, with another form of potential accountability like we faced last week. Also, um, for pay for performance, uh, a positive thing about it might be that uh, you, you may, during a hiring process, end up getting those star performers and kind of filtering out the uh, performers that may not perform so well. So there are some bonuses to the pay performance, but there also are um, a handful of weaknesses as well. My second takeaway for the week is that low labor costs are a potent and sustainable uh, competitive way of running your organization. Now in many ways if you can lower costs that is great, however uh, many times quality versus uh, low cost will win almost, in my opinion, almost every time. If you are lowering your costs but you're providing products or services that are subpar your organization will suffer. In regards to the case, they used a gain sharing method to incentivize their uh, employees, uh, which worked for a time, but uh, eventually became a problem. Um, there was a lack of morale in the, uh, I guess you could say in the office or at the workplace. The office was not getting its uh, bonuses, which led to a um, again a, a fall in morale and um, uh, the whole the whole method behind the gain sharing uh, idea is to find ways to cut costs and then to share that cost with everyone in the organization um, so you do see a little bit of both of those takeaways that I had um, at play here where there's an incentive um, which doesn't always work out the way it's supposed to and secondly every time you cut costs it doesn't always mean that um, there will be an increased uh, value uh, to the organization as a whole. Um, I believe that they even had some defects in their manufacturing. It could be because of the incentive system that wasn't balanced out by another way of incentivizing and kind of uh, counter using a, a form of counter accountability for the organization through an incentive the through an, in, through an incentive based program. Now in my own experience I don't think I've struggled too much with trying to cut corners for pay performance type of positions. I've held uh, jobs where I'm in sales, uh, I've held um, jobs that paid higher than others. Um, so in those, in those jobs where I was paid higher, in those jobs where um, uh, it was kind of commission based uh, I definitely found myself more motivated, so I think um, that pay for performance, uh, again hitting the positive side, uh, can cause your workers to be motivated, can cause them to, um, to perform to their uh, potential and push themselves. Um, but there are going to be those employees which uh, try to take advantage of the situation, do try to cut corners. Uh, but I can't remember a time where I have got any corners. Um, at least not right now. Hopefully I, I never have. Uh, as far as cutting costs uh, in the workforce, um, I can kind of relate that to our current media business. Uh, <clears throat> there are projects that we do for our clients that sometimes the costs are higher, sometimes the costs are lower. And uh, I can definitely see from project to project those uh, um, costs where we're trying to work with the budget of our client um, are usually cut. As a result of these cuts uh, in costs, uh, there aren't as many bells and whistles in their projects. Uh, we won't maybe spend as much time uh, having multiple cameras or 
um, doing extensive uh, elaborate editing. So the quality definitely um, is affected by lowering our costs sometimes uh, just to meet the client's needs uh, financially. Um, but when we do have a budget where um, a client is willing to pay that extra amount, then we can, sp we can go that extra mile for them. We can um, spend the extra time making an elaborative uh, editing uh, uh, and using creativity to create a nice, uh, beautiful final product. Uh, we can have uh, many multiple angles uh, from which we might shoot an event or a commercial, uh, whatever it might be. Um, so um, I definitely can relate to um, uh, the myth of uh, finding cutting costs as a sole way to look at uh, having a profitable bus business model um, definitely quality uh, trumps um, lowering costs in several different situations.